Do you want to control access to certain jobs based on the job status? For example, you might want to only allow billing data entry to access jobs that have a status of open or complete. If that's something that works for you or business processes, you're going to like this Define Allow Job Statuses feature that's now available in the product update. First thing I want to illustrate is a new setting in security. So under Library Master, in the main folder under Role Maintenance, you will find under the security events a new feature has been added as far as job cost. So if you want to allow certain individuals the right to override data entry based on the status selections that are set up, they need to have this right to allow to override status selections and job status maintenance. The next thing we need to do is configure that feature in job cost. So under the modules, under job cost, under setup, we're going to go into job cost options. Under the additional tab, a new area has been added for job status maintenance. By turning this on, it allows us to define the job statuses allowed in entry. So we're going to activate this so we can set up some statuses. A new menu item has been added under the setup menu for job status maintenance and activating the feature in job cost allows us access to this. You'll notice in the job status maintenance we can define all modules to have certain functionality or specific modules. So let's say that I want to go into accounts payable and I want to allow invoice data entry to have certain statuses only. So as you can see, I could select all data entry uh, tasks in accounts payable or individually the invoice data entry or the manual check and payment entry. So let's say for invoice data entry, I don't want all statuses. I just want to have my open and complete statuses available. I'll go ahead and accept this and now that's been configured. At this point, I can set up any other module. So for instance, if I go into, uh, let's say I select all modules. But from all modules, I select not all data entry. And this could make it real easy if I just wanted to set all of my data entry tasks. But I want to set up just the accounts receivable invoice data entry. Now if I don't choose all, you'll notice that the module code does select the module that the data entry task uh, refers to. So let's say in invoice data entry, um, I'm not going to have bid jobs, I'm going to have open jobs, complete jobs only. And I'll accept that. So the job status is controlling access to various data entry task jobs. Now let's see how this works. So let's say that I'm going to go into accounts payable, into the main, into invoice data entry. And I want to identify uh, a particular vendor and job here. And I'll choose the first job here. and you can see that completed very easily. Now let's say Alan sends me another invoice because they've worked on another job that I have. And you'll notice that this one did not have a status of open or complete. It says you're not allowed to enter a job number with a status of hold. Do you want to override? So at this point, if I say yes, then I'm going to have to have a user come in who has the rights to override this job. If I said no, then I would not be able to do uh, complete this entry. So I'll say OK, and great. Now I can go ahead and complete that if that's exactly what we want to have happen. Let's say on that same job, 
they also have the same invoice we had another job and you can see that this one also had a status that was acceptable this one actually had a completed status so that was one that was available for me to entry to enter now this is going to work similarly in all the data entry tasks where only those jobs that meet the statuses that you've defined except for overrides will be controlled as far as their entry we hope we are sure that this feature will allow you to control those jobs whose access you don't want data entry to be able to access.